Hi guys, this is Pratishtha and in this video I'm going to discuss one more production create topic and this time it is related to science and the technology. So it's a little different from uh, the media topics that we were covering from the past two videos. And yeah, this topic is inspired by the Cosmopolite book that I was doing when I was in Alliance France. And okay, I'll just uh, share my screen really quickly. And yeah, this was the question. So, vous décidez de répondre à cet appel? Oh, this is like maybe something from the notebook. I don't know. The real question starts from here. Vous écrivez un texte dans lequel vous présentez l'innovation scientifique qui vous semble plus important. So, you are going to explain some scientific information, which is really important. Vous expliquez pourquoi et décrivez les conséquences de cette innovation sur la société. So I think it was something related to how uh, the society, how the science is changing the environment and how science can protect the environment rather. Uh, so I had to write in a magazine and I had to tell about some kind of information, uh, some kind of innovation that would help protect the environment. And uh, not really environment that, that would just help protect, uh, like help humanity be better. And I personally wrote about how science has helped uh, improve the environment. So I started with an introduction, a middle part and the ending again. I always do that. Uh, the first thing that I wrote was, Les scientifiques ont développé une smartwatch qui fonctionne sans batterie, mais grâce à la sueur. So it is sweat. So uh, I talked about a sm smart watch that does not work on the battery, but it works on the human sweat. L'appareil fonctionne en recouvrant un tissu de polyester cellulose dans une feuille de polymer. So this is something technical that it is covered in some kind of polyester uh, tissue and uh, then again, uh, like covered in some polymer, like cloth of polymer or something. Ki function come yun electrode. Electrode is like which gives energy, like electricity and energy. Yun reaction électromécanique est créée quand la sueur interagit avec la polymère et produit l'énergie. So when the sweat uh, comes inter in interaction with the electrode, uh, it produces energy. Les batteries normales sont moins chères, mais elles sont fabriquées avec les matériaux chimiques qui sont difficiles à éliminer et endommager l'environnement. So the normal batteries, the usual batteries, they are uh, more inexpensive, but they are created with the kind of uh, stuff that is actually harmful for the environment because they cannot be uh, either decomposed or they, they just cannot be thrown off or disposed of properly. So they can create some kind of environmental damage. Ils sont également dangereux pour la peau. It is also dangerous for the skin. And see, la soeur humaine interpelle les dérives en devant marveilleuses alternatives à cette batterie toxique. So this is why the uh, human sweat is another kind of uh, alternative that helps to, uh, I would say, that helps to basically be a better alternative to the toxic battery. Aujourd'hui, on dispose de batteries qui fonctionnent grâce à la sœur. Demain, on peut contribuer à protéger l'environnement, qui est aujourd'hui un véritable sujet d'enquête. So I just ended with the, that today, if science can help us eliminate the use of battery by just by like human sweat, which is something very natural, tomorrow we can maybe do bigger things with it like right? you know it can contribute more uh, into protecting the environment or maybe some other innovations can come into play to protect the environment and i guess that is it so this one was actually supposed to be quite a small uh, essay i would say but this was rather tough so in case you get something which is related to science and uh, things like that you would really need to know uh, about all the kind of vocabulary which is related to science and technology and I guess even this is quite good enough. You can just add a little bit more of the, uh, I would say, the introduction. You can add to it because I, if you, if I see it right now, uh, I can feel that I have just started. Like, uh, I have just started it. Like, there's no uh, introduction as such. I mean, there is a little introduction, but it's it's just not enough. If you want to make your uh, article look a little more descriptive, just add a little bit of introduction. 
you can also add something uh, in the ending because i just wrote i think two or three lines for the ending so again that is something small you can add more things you can add something more uh, i just explained one uh, scientific innovation in case you have some more scientific innovations in your mind or maybe if you can just make something randomly then i guess that would be more than great and so yes that was it science and technology is always a tough topic i would say because the vocabulary is very limited and you can only learn so much vocabulary at one time so i hope this video would help you uh, and if not it would at least uh, let you know that these topics can come and so you can prepare accordingly uh, i guess that is it so au revoir and abhi until